I am Livia Maris Jepsen, angel therapist at www.mycrystalangel.com and today I like to talk about labyrinths. I was always fascinated about labyrinths since I was a young girl. Uh, I love the, the magic healing power that the labyrinths have. I have been researching about them for a long time. Uh, I love all those designs. This labyrinth I built a few years ago. It's a seven circuit labyrinth. Uh, the history of the labyrinth is a little controversial. Nobody really knows for sure how do they start. Um, in Greece, they say that the labyrinth was first built to hold the Minotaur in the middle. The Celts used to build labyrinths to meditate and get in touch with their higher self. And that's why I use my labyrinth. You can find two different kinds of labyrinths. One is this, that you only have one way to go, so you can't turn to the sides. So that's using for meditation. Uh, the other labyrinth is the one that we use to play, that you can get to many different ways and get to your head on the wall. Um, you can find three circuits labyrinths, seven circuits, uh, 21 circuits. It depends how much space you have. Once you know the seed to start, it's not very difficult to make a labyrinth. I will teach you guys inside how to make one, the three circuits and the seven circuits. Uh, to me, the power of the labyrinth is for meditation and getting in touch with my higher self. One of the explanations for that is because when you are walking and you don't really know which way you're going, you lose, you lose your sense of time and space and then no, uh, naturally you get in touch with your higher self. So I have gotten a lot of answers for many difficult problems that they were apparently no way out and I found the answers when I got to the middle of this lab. So it's pretty magical to me. Uh, I have added with time some of those solar lights which makes a very magical effect at night. It looks like a constellation. Um, the angels pretty much work like that too. So it's a, it's a great way to build your faith because when you are inside the labyrinth, you never know which way you're going and you don't know how to get in the middle. But you always know that you can go forward or back. So the angels work pretty much like that. They're gonna light up the next step and, and that's exactly what you feel inside the labyrinth. So you, you normally and naturally you will quiet your mind and you will listen. Even people who have issues meditating or quieting their minds. Uh, the labyrinth is very accepted in every religion. So today you find a labyrinth in hospitals, in temples, and churches of any religion. religion. So let's go inside and I'll show you how to make your own labyrinth. So first I'm going to teach you how to make the three circus labyrinth. So first you need to make a seed that is just a cross and a little dot in each corner. Then all you need to do is play connect the dots. So from here to one dot, the next, to the next, the next, to the next, and the next, to the next, and that's your labyrinth. Now I'm going to teach you how to make the seven circles labyrinth, which is the one that I just showed you that I have in my house, which for me they mean the seven chakras, so when you are walking in and, and the walk through is going to be kind of like a zigzag type, so you never know where you're going, you, each one of the circuits you are opening your seven chakras. So it's almost the same as the three circuits, 
So you start with a cross, but instead of making four dots, you're going to do this. And then you make a little dot in each corner. That's the seed for the seven circles. And then you connect the dots again. Okay. You see, it's always the next one to the next one. To the next. Now it's this. I'll show you one more time because it looks complicated but it isn't. I'll make it one more time. My dad just likes to underline everything I say. <laughs> so here it is. You make a little cross. And you do this. Like little L shapes in each corner. And little dots on each one and now you just connect the middle with the next point the next to the next the next to the next the next the next the next to the next the next to the next A nice way for you to practice this, which is really fun, is for you to make labyrinths with a stick on the beach. I have done many labyrinths on the beach, it's really fun, and then walk around, get your kids together, and you guys are going to have lots of fun with this. Okay, I hope you enjoy your labyrinth, and your blessings. Livia, I really enjoyed learning about labyrinths as I was filming you, and I'm wondering if you would be willing to come to my home and help me set up a three circuit. I don't have room for a seven, but a three would be lovely. Yeah, I'll help you. I'd love to do that. Uh, you can go to my website, www.mycrystalangel.com, or you can email me, Olivia at mycrystalangel.com I like to say too if you don't have space for labyrinth the internet has lots of little labyrinth games like this that you have a little <laughs> a little doll and you go walking on it and meditating over the internet is actually quite funny <laughs> so you, you can do that too is an option or you can find a temple in your city uh, or church that has a labyrinth they these things are not hard to find Thank you. And this is the entrance of the labyrinth. So we can have a picture of how it works. Any girls you Thank you.